A C3 bunker is one of the easiest to sneak into and one of the quickest to grab guns, ammo, and other gear. The bunker entrance is only about 50 yards behind the front gate, but don't use the front gate because there's a mech patrolling back and forth between the gate and the entrance to the bunker. There's a much safer way to sneak into the bunker. Turn left and run across the front of the bunker until you come to the left side. Then run about 50 yards along the left side of the bunker until you come to a tower. You will see several breaks in a fence with pile rocks behind it. Use the left side of the rocks to conceal yourself from the sentry. Make sure to crouch. Next, we are going to use three different bushes to sneak to the front of the bunker. Be sure to sneak in the crouch position because mechs can hear you running. This is much easier to do if you use the third person view rather than the first person view because you can see that the sentry is coming or going. I only sneak forward when the mech isn't looking because they have a possibly good line of sight. This is push number two, one more to go. Once the sentry turns, jog in. Avoid the temptation to run because the sentry will hear you and turn and fire. Sentries tend to be very good shots and their shots are just brutal. It's a good idea to equip a weapon before you enter the bunker in case you encounter a, a puppet as you enter. The sentry is turning so I'm going to jog in now. If you find the door already open, probably another player inside. If you're on a PvP server, this just presents another danger. As you can see, or at least here, I didn't have a weapon drawn, but unfortunately I had time to draw and fire. And that's how easy it is to sneak into the C3 bunker. If you want to stick around, I'll show you where the gun lockers are. Be sure to bring lock picks and a screwdriver. It's a good idea to carry a second backpack in your hand. This way you can double the amount of loot that you take out of the bunker. You will automatically drop it if you pull your weapon to shoot a puppet, so remember to pick it back up. Starting at the entrance, run to the first set of doors. It's a good idea to stand to the side so any puppets inside don't see you immediately. I've already cleared it though for a fast run through. Straight down the hallway, about 25 feet, you will see the two gun locker rooms. One on the right and one on the left. You will find most of the guns just laying on the shelves. The gun lockers require a screwdriver and a lock picked over. Most of the time they don't contain anything, or just a gun accessory, so don't worry about it if you're not good at lock picking. I have lock picking turned off however for this run through. Let's go to the second room now. And here's a nice assault rifle just laying on the shelf. And three of the four gun lockers are empty. But the fourth one does have a nice shotgun, so Pick the locks if you can. You can drop long weapons in your backpack by dropping them on the gray stripe bar or holding the control key and changing the rotation with your mouse button. You can leave now or continue looting the bunker. You exit the bunker the same way you came in. If you want to see me do it, stick around. Stand to the side when you open the doors and wait for the mech to turn at the bottom of the steps. Then jog down the ramp to reach the bottom. At the bottom, you can run straight out. You don't need to run back up the hill like I'm doing, but it does provide some cover should you need it. Once you reach the break in the fence, turn left. Then run down along the left side of the fence until you reach the front. Once you've reached the front corner, turn left again and it will take you to the dirt road where you parked your truck. If my video was helpful, please give it a like. If you'd like to see more videos, hit the subscribe and notification buttons. Thank you for watching. Until next time, Malam and Say out.